channel. So today I'm going to be doing an apartment tour of my New York City apartment and I'm so excited to be filming this because I'm just obsessed with my apartment. I love everything about it. I've been wanting to film this video ever since I moved in, but there was still a few things I had to get and a few things I had to do around my apartment before I could get to it. But my apartment is completely done now and I'm all settled in. So yeah, I'll start from the front door. Okay, so this is the front door and before I like go into detail, I'll do like just a quick overview of the apartment. So the front door is right here and then right when you turn to the right, that's the bathroom. And then this is looking straight on. My apartment is just a studio, so it is a pretty small, but it's just me living here and it's actually like a pretty good size studio. This apartment was a lot bigger than most of the other studio apartments that me and my dad looked at, especially for the bathroom. I got really lucky with having such a big bathroom. But yeah, so this is what you see right when you walk in the front door. And then this is the kitchen right here. And then this is like the living room slash bedroom. Okay, so now I'll go into detail with everything. So I'll start with the bathroom first and then I'll work my way up. So this is the bathroom with the lights turned on. This is probably one of my favorite parts about my apartment. I just love the bathroom so much. And it's actually like a huge bathroom. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's a really, really big bathroom. And then there's a washer and dryer in there. And my apartment did come furnished, so I'll try and link and say where everything is from. But most of like the big furniture pieces I won't be able to find because it just came with my apartment. My apartment came furnished, which was actually really nice. That's what we wanted coming into this because I'm only gonna be here a semester. So finding a furnished apartment was very lucky. So on the right side, you open this door and it's the washer and dryer. And on top, I just have like laundry detergent and just some bathroom cleaning supplies and toilet paper. And down here, I have to have a step stool because the cabinets in my kitchen are pretty high and all of these open right there. So all of those cabinets open up and I can only reach the bottom ones. I can't reach the top. So every time I have to get something out of the top cabinet, I have to get my step stool out. So that's that. And then right here in the corner, I keep all of my hair tools, like my straightener and my crimper and all that because there just wasn't really room for it in the drawers. So, And I don't use those every day. So I just stuck those in there. So that's the washer and dryer. And over here is the shower and bath. And right now I just have a clear shower liner on there just because I never found a shower curtain because I just wanted a white one. And when we were out shopping, I just never found one. But the liner honestly doesn't really bother me. I kind of like how it's just clear and it makes it look clean. So if I find a white shower curtain, like maybe I'll get one. But for right now, I'm just going to keep this. And then I keep all my shampoo and conditioner and body wash right there. And then when you look to the front, there's the sink. And both of these drawers open. I'm not going to open them because they're kind of messy. But in this one, I keep my skincare and lotions. And then in the bottom one, I just keep makeup. And these drawers are really, really nice and convenient because they're so big and they hold a lot of stuff. And I just have a lot of skincare and bathroom stuff and makeup. So those were really nice. And right here, I just have my soap and cotton rounds and q-tips these are both from pottery barn i believe i just like how that soap dispenser looks than just like a normal soap that you buy at the store i feel like it just looks cleaner so i've had these for a few years i had these in my last apartment and then here um, and they're really thick and really good quality so i love those and i also just love how big this mirror is and i love the lights that go around the mirror and then over on the left it's just the toilet and a little candle and then a towel and i love how it has this big medicine cabinet right here i honestly didn't think when i moved in that i was going to use this too much but it actually is really convenient i keep a lot of stuff in here i keep all my bath salts down there and then just some of my hair products and then up there i keep like face masks and medicine so it's actually a lot bigger than you think and it's really convenient. It holds a lot of stuff. And then it's also nice because then it's just a full length mirror just to check your outfits, take pictures. So yeah, so that's the whole bathroom. 
obsessed with the bathroom. Probably one of my favorite parts about my apartment. And I like it too because you can turn the big light off and just keep that one on. So that one's nice for at night, like if you wanna take a bath or something. It's super relaxing. And it, going out in the kitchen, this is the kitchen and there is so much storage and space to hold everything. I actually keep some of my clothes up in these cabinets right here because there wasn't too much closet space. So I actually keep a lot of clothes like above the fridge and then in these two and then in these ones over here I keep mostly food. I'm not going to go through all of them just because it's mainly food and clothes. But over here I just have some face masks, some hand sanitizer, this candle from TJ Maxx. And this knife set was my sister's, so I'm not really sure where she got that. And then some recipe books. In here is just some kitchen stuff. Pots and pans are down there. This is the stove and microwave. And then down here is just some cleaning supplies, the trash can. And then I keep my air fryer down there just because it was really big and there wasn't really any space to put in the cabinet. So I just put it under the sink. And then this is the dishwasher. I like how small it is, so then it doesn't take up too much space. And I never honestly really have too many dishes, so that fits perfectly right there. Going over here, there's just this big thing on the wall, which is really nice. And I'm actually like obsessed with this little space right here. So starting down here, I just keep my jewelry box and a candle. And this jewelry box is from the container store and it like stacks. So you kind of just like take it off and you can buy more stacks or you could just do two stacks if you wanted to. And I just like how simple and clean it looks sitting right here and it matches like the white perfectly. Just a little lavender candle. And then up here, so I actually put my plates and bowls up here just because I really liked the shape of the bowls that I got. So I thought that it would be cute to like display them out. And then I have wine glasses up there. And I have four of everything, but some things are in the dishwasher. But all the plates and bowls are from Crate and Barrel. I really love them. And then I just love these two picture frames. I had both of these at my last apartment. And I just love how they're like glass looking and the black and white is so cute. So just more plates and then the little bowls, wine glasses, and those are from Target. So now going into the bedroom and living room. So actually I said the bathroom was probably my favorite part, but my favorite part of the apartment is definitely the floor to ceiling windows. I'm just so obsessed with these. Like this view is just amazing. And at night it's so pretty too when the buildings are all lit up and I'm on the 21st floor too so I am pretty high up but here's like a better view it's kind of a cloudy day out today because usually like this whole space is just really bright but it's cloudy out today so it's not that bright in here but yeah this is the view and then these windows do open too they don't open that far but so they don't open that far but it's nice sometimes to just get like a nice breeze in here okay so over on the left side of the room it's just a little couch a throw blanket and a lamp i like this area it's super cozy and then i also love this mirror right here and i love how you can see the yellow wall in the background but this couch it came with my apartment this throw blanket is from ugg i just got that recently and this little poster here, this came with the apartment, this lamp, and the table came with the apartment, and the coasters I had, and they're from Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. I'll try and find them and link them down below. Then just down here, I keep my book bag for school, and it's nice too because there's shades up here, so they do shut, so then in the morning it's not like super bright then going over to the table this table did not come with the apartment it didn't come with any sort of dining room table so i think my dad just got this off of amazon maybe but i just love how it looks in this apartment i think it fits perfectly and i didn't want something too big that would take up this whole space right here so it's a really nice size and then both of the chairs it came with the apartment so i don't know where those were from then going over to the right side of the room this is my bed and at first i wasn't like too big on the yellow wall but it's definitely grown on me since the whole apartment is so like white and silver i 
kind of like how it's just like a nice pop of color. I think it's really pretty and it adds some character to the room. So this is my bed. There's two lamps on each side and then over here is just a little chair that also came with the apartment. So did this coffee table. This candle, I love this candle. It's like the best scent ever. Um, that's from TJ Maxx and the little candle wick cutter is from West Elm, I believe. So over on this side of the bed, there's the lamp. Both of the lamps came with the apartment and down here I keep my printer and this little box right here is like the Wi-Fi or the cable. I'm not really sure what it is. And this is my diffuser. I love this thing. I use it every single night. The only time I really use it is at night, but you can get like daytime scents. I only have the one that's for sleep and then lavender so i only use it at night but it makes my entire apartment smell good like i love it and i feel like i can't even sleep without it and i like the shape of the diffuser too because some diffusers are kind of like not really the cutest but this one's really sleek looking and it comes in a bunch of different colors i think you can get black and white and even like pink and gray maybe but i just have the black one i'll link that down below and then right in the center is my bed. I had all of this bedding in my last apartment and I just love it. I love the white and I love how soft this is. This big blanket is from Restoration Hardware and both of the pillows are from Restoration Hardware too. They're definitely a little bit more expensive, but I think it's so worth it. I sleep with this every single night. I don't like use it as my comforter because I have a comforter. I kind of just like leave this laying on top and it's almost just like a, it's not a weighted blanket but it kind of just like feels like that because it's so heavy then these pillows these really big white ruffled ones i think these are from home goods either home goods or marshall's i can't really remember but you can find pillows like this almost anywhere and then in the back i just have four regular sleeping pillows that i sleep with every night and over on this side the same lamp is the lamp over there and i don't really keep much on this side i just have my remotes and then i also have this nighttime mist that you spray on your bed and pillows it's just from bath and body works it smells really good my airpods are just charging my glasses and then i also have a little stuffed animal that looks like my dog Bo. my dad got this for me a few years ago when i was in the hospital so now i bring him home i bring him to all my different apartments i bring him to college he goes everywhere with me. And then lastly, over on this side of the room, it's just my closet. And then this is also my TV too. And the cord for the TV has to go all the way. I don't really know if you can see it that well, but it has to go like all the way around because the only outlet was back there. But I mean, you can't really tell that much. And the TV also came with the apartment. So we didn't even have to worry about a TV or anything. And it also moves. So like if I'm sitting on the couch or eating dinner or something, I can move the TV. But right now it's just facing my bed. But yeah, so this is my closet. It's not too big. Oh, I also forgot. I actually keep some clothes in here too. So this is actually really nice because there weren't any drawers or anything to put just like little like biker shorts and things in so down here i keep my bath towels and then up here i just keep regular shorts running shorts biker shorts just things like that okay so now i'll show my closet it's definitely not the biggest closet in the world but i mean it works it is actually a lot bigger than i thought it would be it holds a lot more stuff so it starts all the way back there and goes all the way to the back and we also got this extra rack from Target. So this was super, super helpful because it added like a ton more space. So back here, I just hung all of my sweatshirts and I have so many sweatshirts and I wanted to bring all of them, but I knew I wouldn't have that much space living here. So I just had to pick a few of them. But down here, I keep all my body suits, my oversized t-shirts, and up here is more of just like my little crop tops and just like little t-shirts and things like that. And then over on the other side is more like jackets, dresses, jumpsuits. I am a little worried when I have to have a big winter jackets that I'm not gonna find the space for it, but I'll have to figure that out later. And up here, I just keep all my shoes and then my suitcase is in the back. So I keep most of my shoes up there, but then I also have to keep some shoes below my bed just because 
I didn't have enough space for them, but then I also have some down there. I just have a lot of shoes. Then lastly, this little thing right here is just from Target. I just needed this to keep socks and underwear. Um, some bathing suits are in there and pajamas. I just needed this just for a little extra space. Oh, and then I also keep like some, like my really small like tank tops and little bra tops and things like that up above this. So yeah, that's my closet. So yeah, that is my entire apartment. It's definitely not the biggest apartment in the world, but it really works for me. I just love everything about it. I love the location that it's in. I love the whole setup. I love the floors. It's just great overall. So yeah, that's the whole apartment. I'll try and link as many things as I can down below. But like I said earlier, I won't be able to link too many things just because my apartment did come furnished. So I honestly didn't really have to bring that many things. And I don't remember if I said this before, but I am in the Midtown area. So I'm in a really good location. I love everything that I'm by. I have so many restaurants and shops. And I'm also fairly close to my school. It's not that far of a walk, which is really, really nice. Yeah, so that's the whole video and the whole apartment. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and turn on the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video.